Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to November, a brand new month on Ultimate Team. One of the most exciting months on this game for a lot of different reasons. But what I want to do today in the video is actually take a step back from the market a bit and talk about what's probably going to be happening in this next month, especially with some factors that you may not be thinking about that are actually going to impact this market and really stuff that we haven't seen for a few years on this game it's kind of all a perfect storm it's about to happen on this game and we're going to talk about it in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's go over yesterday's content of course as we normally start off the videos with yesterday was a bit of a lackluster day it was really a good day to get some of those rivals games in work towards your progress there because the SBCs that we had weren't that crazy first of all we had John Luis Leca a five foot eleven a bit on the shorter side goalkeeper now he's a French goalkeeper but you know, this card just seems like, first of all, it seems like this is an 85 rated Centurion, so it should be evolvable with the Centurion's upgrade that we just got on the weekend. But unfortunately, it is not able to be put into this because it doesn't have minimum 53 shooting because he's a goalkeeper. So that seems like a miss from EA. I feel like that card should be able to be evolved into an 87 rated goalkeeper, but even then, 13,000 coins and nobody wants to do the SBC. It just is kind of a head scratcher. It's like, What's the point, really, to be completely honest? We also had some new foundations yesterday with the MLS foundations. And once again, these just seem super mid. I mean, if you're excited for the league, if you're excited for the players and the clubs that are involved in it, then GG's. But a lot of these just look, yes, cheap, but not that amazing. At least they're pretty easy to complete inside of Milestones if you want to go and get that done. The big SBC yesterday was an upgrade pack. It was the 84 times 2 This seems to be EA's favorite upgrade pack beyond a repeatable upgrade SBC that they like to drop. We could do it two times per day and it requires only an 83 rated squad and in form. Now it is heavily downvoted on footbin, but I think that's because it doesn't seem like good value. 24,000 coins you're saying to pay for 284s. Now I got a bit lucky yesterday and I did hit some decent cards from it at some uh, walkouts, some higher rateds, but it's definitely a risk. I would say at least this week, we have a decent SBC that we can craft, right? We've got the Centurion's Crafting Upgrade that we can put golds into, that we can get three golds back from, and you can get some 83s, 82s, maybe some 84s and 85s a lot more consistently than other upgrade packs in the past. But as of this point right now, all golds are selling at 600 coins, so it's not super cheap to do that Centurion's Upgrade because the price of golds are rising. It's actually like six to 7,000 coins to do every single one so that creeps up in there in price and that just makes the crafting a little bit less valuable as well and i think that's maybe why a lot of people aren't a fan of the 84 double but um you know we had some better pulls out of that yesterday it's at least an opportunity to pack something good on this game and i think people like a gamble like that so at least it's something to try 83s of course since it was an 83 rated squad we keep switching back and forth here between the game and footbin 83s went up a lot yesterday a lot of these were selling at like 1.7 to even 2,000 coins i think they have potential to go back up to that range even today you see the big spike a lot of people had invested in these and they made some big coins yesterday. Um, 85s look to be down. I was buying an 85 yesterday for 8,000 coins to put into that SBC. 86s are down a little bit. So fodder is down just a smidge on the lower tier. I mean, even 84s, they were 3.5K. Now they're 3,000 coins. I wouldn't be surprised if those went back up towards 3.5K. I'm not sure why they're down a bunch right now, unless this is just people that are panic selling for a potential supply hitting the game today on Wednesday, or they're just trying to get out before the weekend. Not entirely sure. But as I mentioned, and as you obviously know, it is the start of November. Let's get into the main topic on today's video because it's probably one that you guys don't see coming, just to be completely honest. Guys, it's the start of November, and every single year in November, we think about a market crash. We've been talking about it a little bit this upcoming week. We've got big promos, especially towards the end of the month with Black Friday. It's just historically a month on this game where prices crash. Gold cards, informs, icons, there's insane promos, insane new cards that come out, insane packs that get released as well, and prices just drop but apart from black friday this year which i take a look back at last year some of the videos that we put out right panic market crash will the market ever stop crashing have ea ruined the ultimate team market right it's just during that time frame just prices crash almost every single week look at neymar's inform right neymar's inform from the beginning of november last year went from 1.3 million coins till black friday 
uh, right here. He went down to 900K. Like, that's a crazy drop there. Mohamed Salah's gold card from the start of November, literally today, last year, November 1st, 192,000 coins. By the end of November, the bro is at 80K. 80K, man. That's 100,000, 110,000 coin drop off in an entire month. Now, are we expecting that same thing to happen on the market this year? Yes, but it might not be quite the same. And there's even more factors this year, in my opinion, that are going to contribute to a market that falls off in this month. Some bigger variables that we haven't seen for years, guys. Guys, I'm going to take you back right now to FIFA 8. Teen. FIFA 18. I don't know if any of you guys played this game, whether you've been playing FIFA for a long time, Ultimate Team for a long time. This was one of the earlier on Ultimate Teams that I played, and it was one of the first years that I was actually into the market. In this year, Fortnite was so massive, it was building in popularity, that during the second half of the year, the market felt so dead. And the market usually drops off right during the second half of the year from like Team of the Year, after we reach a peak after Team of the Year and towards like TOTS, right? We always see the market drop off. But that year, the market just died on like all cards, just completely went down, down, down in price for the whole second half of the year because everybody was playing Fortnite. And you're like, Nate, why in the world did that impact the market? It did. It took gamers off of this game and took them onto the new game that was up and coming. It was so hype. And the reason why that affects right now in this game is because OG Fortnite is coming back this weekend, guys. Yes, this weekend. And I'm not trying to plug this for Fortnite or anything. This is going to impact the number of players that are playing Ultimate Team because the amount of hype for this is crazy. I don't know if I've ever seen a game with as much hype as Fortnite had like four or five years ago in peak Fortnite time, right? This game was crazy. And they're bringing back all that stuff that happened then, the way the game was, the way people loved it again. And that happens this weekend. So I think that's going to be a competing, right? That's competing demand for video game players to play this game. So that's going to hurt the player base a little bit. And also the new Call of Duty comes out the weekend after that. So you have two brand new games that are coming out in the next two weeks on this game or one brand new game and one game being refreshed to its most hype time ever which is drawing a lot of hype on social media already people are hearing about it they're getting excited it even makes me want to play it for goodness sake like i barely even played fortnite but it makes me want to play it right because that was just a crazy time on the game and that really makes me think that over this next month specifically we are going to see prices drop and it could start here pretty soon now as i will mention this video is not to tell you to panic sell your team right now because i'm not saying the market's going to drop tomorrow or even this weekend crazy crazy amounts in fact in fact if we take a look at the market right now guys we've already started we started a little early this year the Black Friday market crash, the November market crash, like, welcome to it. We're already inside of it. Take a look at Usman Dembele. This guy is 110,000 coins right now, arguably one of the most overpowered players in the game. He was 140,000 coins just four days ago. This last weekend, the percentage drop-offs that we saw last weekend with the new Centurions cards being cheap, fodder continually going up and a lot of people rinsing their coins into max 87 hero upgrades SBCs like the sun the blanc we've got more icon SBCs coming out centurions cards are cheap and more packable like coins are being rinsed off of this game with solid content and these golds are getting supplied more and more look at this drop off 140,000 coins on friday down to 110,000 coins where he is right now jules kunde another example of a guy who went from 160k down to 135k like that's the lowest that he has been since the first week of this game like this is the beginning of what we saw last year when we were taking a look at these graphs like on salah right salah on that first weekend went from 196 down to 158 last year like that that is what we have just seen this last weekend we've seen the first drop off of what i think is going to be a month of november that is going to really decline a lot of prices are going to continue to decline downward so that's what i'm trying to warn you guys about in today's video is more of that is coming and again i'm not saying that it's all going to happen today that you have to panic today and that you have to sell your cards right now the cards that i'm the most worried about are ones that have been out of packs antoine griezmann his gold card has been out of packs. His inform has been in packs, right? I would sell this because Antoine Griezmann's probably going to end up being 80,000 coins by the end of this weekend or the early next week. He's probably going to drop off a lot. Um, that's just a card that's been out of packs. So he's got less 
um, people that are obviously packing his gold card when his inform is out. So that sort of thing is going to happen for him. And I would just be also a bit worried about some of my out of packs informs. Um, I look at like Mohamed Salah, team of the week one, Karchawi's 300,000 coins. Like guys, that's a crazy price. Uh, for an informed left back from Team of the Week 1. This happened last year as well. I went back and looked through some Team of the Week 1 cards, and I'll do it here again with this year's team. Like, Salah is almost 800k, man. Like, that is a price that, like Team of the Week 1 normally does, just continues to go up and up and up over time, and it hasn't dropped off yet. These are the cards that I'm the most worried about. Some of your older informs, Team of the Weeks 1, 2, 3, maybe even Team of the Week 4, that have had big-time rises in price. There's going to be a, a really sizable market reset coming in this next month. And again, it's a month, so it's going to take a while for it to happen. It may not happen all this weekend. I just think you're going to see a combination of a lot more supply. Think about also what we have during the month of November. We have the biggest, most insane packs you can think of last year, the most ridiculous packs ever during a Black Friday. You think those are going to come back this year? Absolutely, freaking Lulu. EA does content bigger and better, especially the packs, bigger and better every single year. The packs that come out this year for Black Friday are going to absolutely blow our mind to a whole new level that we haven't almost ever seen before. That's just how it goes. So there are drops that are going to be coming in the market. And again, I will say this. We are still 27 days away from Black Friday. I'm not looking at you right now and saying that you got to sell. I'm just telling you to be careful. I asked the question in the Twitch stream today for a lot of guys. How untradeable is your team? What percentage of players in your team are untradeable versus tradable? And a lot of you guys were saying like, 80 to 100% of your team is tradable. If more than 50% of your team are cards that you have bought off the market, I would sincerely try to convince you to get that percentage to be in that 80 to 100% range. It's fine to still buy players for your team, to buy players for Weekend League that you want to try out, Centurions cards, you know, Trailblazers, Icons, whatever it may be. Have fun, right? Don't take the fun out of the game by just running with players so you don't lose coins. Have fun, but at the same time, just know what is coming in this next month in a broader sense of the market that was the point again of today's video is to show you a broader sense so that you can know what's coming and just be prepared for it um and not be surprised when prices really you're like nate is you're, you're saying to me that griezmann's going to be 80k on like this next weekend yeah and griezmann's probably going to be like 50,000 coins or 40 like thousand coins by the end of the month like that's how cheap this stuff is going to get towards then it's going to get super duper cheap man that's how it goes every single year. If you don't believe me, go take a look at some of the graphs last year. The drop-offs are insane. So now that we talked about that and we're done being scared about how much the market's going to drop off, what parts of the market are like safe? What, what kind of places would I still be trading with? Well, at least for right now, you can see what I've been trading with recently. I've been mentioning it a lot. Road of the Knockouts. They're still safer. They're like the safest cards right now at the moment because they are still live. And people see these cards as valuable because they have potential to get upgrades. But we do have more... Uh, Champions League games, Europa Conference League games next week. So be very careful with those cards because if they, your team loses, you're getting towards the end of those knockout or sorry, those group stage games. Not quite. This is match day four, I think, this upcoming week. So the chances for upgrades are going to be growing slim, slimmer and slimmer for players that haven't got them yet. And players that do get that final, like Lewandowski going to a 94. If Barca win this next game, they clinch the group mathematically. They're on to the knockouts. That would give him another plus one upgrade. And his card is at their, that point no longer live. Like, that's his max price. I would definitely sell on the hype on a card like that. So we're getting to that time on Road to the Knockouts where you got to be careful, but their prices still should do okay. And guys, also, like these promo cards, like I'm, I'm not sitting here saying that Centurions are going to absolutely die in price. These guys are pretty well supplied, especially Pedri, Gioro. Uh, Kuman is an insanely cheap icon center back. We're probably going to get another icon center back soon, whether it's an SBC or a card in packs. So you have to be careful, of course, as always. But this promo team is not bad, and it's actually decently affordable. Like Felipe Anderson, Lacazette, they're a little expensive. They'll drop by the end of the week this week. But I'm not saying that nothing's ever going to go up during this next month. All I have to say is just be careful. We're going to especially watch fodder towards the end of the month guys fodder by the end of the month is going to be an insane insane place to be and especially as we get into black friday it's going to be the best investment you can make and fodder is going to be consistently one of the best places you can trade on the market here pretty soon and even right now it, it even is i don't know what happened with 84s and 85s because 84s were just 2.9k and now they're 3.4 and even 85s are like seven another seven and a half so whoever was panic selling or if ea was putting cards in the market 
That just stopped. That was weird. I just saw, literally just, they went up like four to 500 coins a piece, which is abnormal. Anyways, let's get back into the here and now. Today's content on Wednesday. What am I expecting? Well, of course, a brand new team of the week, which we are not getting a Jude Bellingham team of the week, guys, unless the leakers are incorrect. As of right now, Jude Bellingham is not getting the team of the week because he has won the La Liga player of the month. Not Griezmann. It is Jude Bellingham, in fact, who has won that award. Foot Sheriff tweeted it out yesterday. It is now, I guess you could say, more official. Now, for when the SBC is going to drop, I don't know when this SBC will drop. This seems like EA could save it until Friday. It's up to them when they want to release the SBC. Also, though, I do believe that La Liga will tweet out the winner of the award. You might have to go back and look and see when the Kubo award, and I, I apologize, I'm not able to do that right now because I didn't pull it up before, but that might be a good place to look back and see. But it doesn't matter. Like For Premier League Player of the Month, they're always stuck on Fridays, but I think La Liga moves around. Sometimes it's like Wednesday, sometimes Thursday. So I don't know what's going to happen with this. That's why I'm unsure of when it's going to drop, but that is an SBC that is coming soon. If you want to invest for any of this fodder, for a Bellingham Player of the Month, I would only stick to 88 pluses, guys, because that's going to be the fodder that people have to go and buy themselves. And that fodder is up. So just beware. 90s at 52K, they were 47, 46 on Monday. They were even just 50K flat. Monday at one point, 30, 89 rateds were like 36K, 35K. Now they're 39. So fodder is going up. People expect this Jude SBC to be expensive. I expect it to be expensive as well. Somewhere between 800K and a million coins. But if you want to prepare for it, if it's a non-negotiable SBC that you are going to do, then I would go and maybe stock up a little bit of fodder if you want to get it done right away. Now, speaking of Wednesday content, once again, team of the week, this was really what started the panic selling on Jude's card, which by the way, yesterday, when I saw Foot Sheriff tweet this out, I, it's not on my transfers anymore. I cleared the cards. I had invested in Jude Bellingham Gold, right? And since I saw this leak, I was like, all right, I know that Jude is probably not going to be in team of the week today because he's getting the player of the month, even though he deserves a team of the week. I sold my Jude Bellingham's for 85,000 coins. So we took a little bit of a tax loss. I sold one for a lazy. We talked about it on stream yesterday. Um, but that was just a situation where the player of the month coming down to it is what messed up that investment to, to from being great because it would have been great and it would have risen out of packs for sure. But he didn't get a team of the week and instead he got a player of the month. So instead, we're getting Kane Holland as kind of like the top two players in team of the week today. And Ketia looks like he's in as well. Lozano, these are leagues, guys. This is not the full team. This is just part of the team. So we are getting a team of the week today and expect store packs. Like every single Wednesday with a new team of the week, they do release store packs. So I just be careful there. Keep an eye on the Harry Kane uh, Rule Breakers card as my game is now glitching. Love that. Actually, not at all. Keep an eye on the uh, Harry Kane Trailblazers cards. I've been doing that the entire year with this promo. I'm not in FIFA 23 anymore. We're in FC 24. Come on, TFA. Um, watch that card because I don't think this one, his inform, is going to be near as good as that one. It's 78 pace and a better playstyle plus. So definitely watch out for that. But then other content could be coming today. We still do have a vintage that is coming soon at some point as a Centurion's SBC. This almost to me feels like it's either going to be during the week, like today or tomorrow, but it also feels like it could be like a Saturday or a Sunday type of SBC. We already had Pirlo, so that's something that we have to keep an eye out on. And of course, today is the last day for um, you to, I guess, if you want to be a part of the experiment that is hoping to see if EA is actually going to give us milestone rewards or if these TFOs are all that we get. Because I finished my Rivals games yesterday, got into Division 4 with the last game, got my 90th game played as well. And again, right now, all that it shows for milestone rewards are just TFOs, bronze, silver, and gold. So it's ridiculous. We'll see what happens. Hopefully that's a visual glitch only. But guys, I'm kind of setting the expectation for myself that it's, it's not. I think that's actually going to be what it is. But that is like that... <laughs> And yeah, that's sad, man. I don't think Rivals rewards are better really at all to make up for the lack of the milestone rewards. And maybe EA is going to say, well, we're giving you better rewards inside of the season progress um, to offset that. But I don't know. I, I think we should still have milestone rewards because, yeah, the season's long. Just give us milestone rewards. You set that precedence and now you take it away. It's never going to feel good. But this is the last day, last full day for the season. Um, tomorrow on Thursday, it is going to reset. So make sure also a quick tip for today. If you're playing champs qualifiers, do not get stuck when the season resets tomorrow in the middle of champs qualifiers, either, either play them today and get qualified. Your weekend league token will carry over. If you qualify today before the season ends, 
and you have your ready to redeem weekend league token, you'll be good for foot champs this weekend. So either do it today or wait until after the resets, uh, season resets and do it tomorrow on Thursday. Cause if you don't and you're stuck, like let's say you have two games played, two games won, but then your, your uh, progress will be reset. If you're in the middle of qualifiers during the time that the season is going to reset. And then also last thing on fodder, watch the 83s and the 84s today. And even team of the weeks as well, guys, because um, the team of the player pick is still there, but I mean, EA dropping this 84 double and it refreshing today, there's more and more demand continually for inform cards. That's something that we're going to keep an eye on here pretty soon as we get towards like black Friday and that time of the year informs are always a decent investment and at some point this fall they are going to explode in price and they will be a really good investment we're just not to that time quite yet so keep watching that part of the market today with the new team of the week as well watch out for more fodder informs to be trading and we'll see if ea have any surprises for us today on a wednesday i doubt we get new evos but who knows we got a lot of evos right now maybe ea will give us another one that would just be like evo overload i gotta catch up i, I don't know how you guys feel in evos but there's just so many right now to try and do. But that's the video for today, guys. You know what? I didn't expect I'd be talking about Fortnite in a video. But really, I do think this is going to impact the game. It's going to impact the amount of players that are playing this game. And you're like, Nate, really? Like, yes, I'm, I promise you guys, man. Especially because the largest percentage of players that plays this game, I should have said this earlier, is like the casual player, right? And the casual player makes up the most bread and butter for EA in terms of their money and their sales. And that just makes up the largest player base of this game and a lot of a lot of those casual players are probably going to be spending some time on this game or on call of duty as well so we talked about call of duty and fortnite inside of a ultimate team video today so never thought you'd see that on a tfa youtube video but you did if you guys enjoyed the video today drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it's been nathan for count see you guys in the video tomorrow peace out